And I guess that's the other thing we wanted to talk about um, is what's happening now that iOS 14 is coming out. Uh, because as you know, I mean, Onsong has supported as long as we can, uh, older iOS versions. Uh, we supported the original iPad uh, well beyond any, you know, what anybody of any other app developer was doing, uh, because we knew we had a lot of uh, users using the original iPad. And um, it looks like at this point, uh, it's time. And, you know, we've been telling people, uh, even in 2019, that 2020 is going to be the last year uh, for iOS 9 and 10, and it looks like iOS 11 support as well. Uh, now, what does that mean for you? If you're if you're using an iPad 2, an iPad 3, or an iPad 4, some of the original iPads, um, it means you get to keep using OnSong. It doesn't mean that you know we're suddenly going to uh, make it not work. I mean, that would be the last thing that we would want to do. Uh, but what it does mean is that we're not going to be putting out updates for those uh, iOS versions any longer. So uh, the next version of OnSong will not support iOS 9, 10, or 11. Um, if you're looking at, you know, does my iPad, will my iPad support new versions of OnSong? Again, if you're using kind of that old, uh, older looking uh, iPad that has the, uh, the beveled edges, so the iPad 2, the iPad 3, and the iPad 4, they all basically looked the same. Uh, those will not be supported uh, any longer. Again, you'll be able to use the current version of OnSong, which we believe is super, super solid. Uh, and so you should be getting a, a number of years of use out of that. Now, one thing I wanted to say though, is that it is time to look at an upgrade path. Um, we've been saying this for a long time. The iPad 2, 3, and 4, they're not the best performing iPads on the planet. Um, if you take a look at um, the difference between that and if you just went out and bought the $300, $330 iPad that's currently available, it's more than 10 times faster, 10 times faster than what you currently have and for you know $300. So if it's something that you're doing professionally, you need to look at uh, upgrading that hardware uh, at this point, uh, just so we can continue to support you and so Apple can continue to support you. So take a look at that. I know for a lot of you, especially during this economy, uh, that might be tough to look at. But the nice thing is Apple's gonna be coming out with new stuff in October, which means all the old stuff ends up being a little bit cheaper. Um, we also recommend that if you are buying a new device, buy a new one. I mean, you can get used ones that are a little bit less expensive than the new ones, uh, but they're not gonna last as long. So, you know, even though you're paying a little bit less, I think the value isn't there. Mm -hmm. um, if you pay a little bit more for even the base model iPad, you're gonna have uh, better luck and longer support from Apple as well.